Landed uh, on uh, Oahu, uh, Honolulu. Always love seeing this uh, open air court here and just uh, the fresh air and uh, wind like we have here on the Hawaiian Islands. And uh, now we're gonna continue. Here we are at the uh, Hilton Hawaiian village in the middle of uh, Waikiki. The race will be right here tomorrow. Uh, that's where we stay and right now we are on the way to the convention center to go pick up uh, whatever I need for tomorrow's race. Most important I live now. So we go there right now. So here we are, Honolulu Marathon, going uh, to this uh, expo. Big hole. 
And I think it's uh, also a lot of uh, participants from uh, Japan again. In the former years, there used to be like 50% of the people joining from Japan. So I wonder how it's going to be uh, this year. And their uh, marathon packet pickup. Oh, and their start to park 10k. So that's where I have to go. So here is the expo stage, uh, this already started uh, on Thursday and is now uh, concluding right now. There's a, a taping seminar. If it doesn't, just take it off. And uh, someone from Japan and then someone translating. He said uh, he'd love to come every month and do a taping technique seminar. So put that in the comment box so that he can come here from Japan every month. Yeah, please, please bring him back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Right, we'll do one, one final stretch before we finish up for the day. Get you guys a little warmed up. Okay. Okay. はい、今度ちょっと浅く座って、前に立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立ち。立
and uh, our dinner starts with this uh, taste of Italy, a plate, some tomato, burrata, and some ham and angola. And so I'm enjoying this meal and uh, really happy to be back here in Honolulu and uh, for tomorrow's race and for this delicious food. Great food. And uh, now having the main dish here, uh, spaghetti polonese. That's really the perfect uh, ground uh, for tomorrow's run. And already tasted a little bit. It's really, really delicious. And uh, really enjoying uh, this meal here. And uh, this is how we're sitting outside. And these are the busy streets of uh, Waikiki. We are here at the uh, kind of a uh, popular stretch of which is called beach walk so which means they are very close to the beach and uh, now it's getting uh, dark and of course lots of people on the street uh, also really a lot of uh, Japanese people again almost back to how it was before the pandemic so I enjoy now my meal here spaghetti bolognese i tell you so happy and honored to be here with you tonight again uh, 50 years of running in paradise nowhere else can you run along waikiki beach diamond head iolani palace so many more iconic uh iconic history uh uh moments and of course uh places that we offer 50 years of doing it here in Hawaii and we are absolutely honored to have each and every one of you here tonight now of course uh, you know this is not only the the greatest venue and, and place to to run but also how about this weather we're having here in December huh? this is the what we call marathon weather in December huh? Unreal. Now, uh, the producers of this year's Honolulu Marathon wanted to do a little, it's something a little bit different for you. So here we are on the beautiful grounds of the Waikiki Beach Walk Plaza stage. How about a big round of applause for the Waikiki Beach Walk, this beautiful establishment over here, hosting Honolulu Marathon's Aloha Nights. And again, so happy to have each and every one of you here. Now, to start off the evening, we'd like to, uh, uh, our ceremony officially uh, started off by introducing you to the uh, Kumuhula and the Hawaiian Cultural Consultant for the Waikiki Beach Walk, as well as the Outrigger Resorts and Hotels. Please a big round of applause for Mr. Blaine Kia.
9.16, 9.17pm, it's the evening before the race, uh, getting up in uh, 6 hours, always an early start uh, for this uh, races, and uh, yeah, it's just so beautiful, look, watch this Hawaiian flower, I was lying here on the bed, and it's just uh, such a sweet little adjuster making such a big difference in uh, anyone's life who has uh, this gift of being able to sleep here. And uh, yeah, I had planned to train for two weeks for this race. I couldn't train the first week after the arrival back here in the, the US due to some uh, health situation but now really luckily got much better this week since uh, we returned to Kauai and I was able to uh, get in uh, three training races on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and so I feel uh, ready and prepared for uh, tomorrow's race and uh, also looked up the latest uh, numbers I think they're going to be around 20, 27,000 runners are signed up. Uh, before pandemic 2019, it was 33,000 and half of it were runners from uh, Japan. Very impressive number. And uh, for this year, there's uh, 6,000 runners from uh, Japan, but there was a big increase of uh, participants coming from the mainland uh, of the US to Hawaii to join this uh, race and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to another running experience and it's certainly very special uh, to be back here in Honolulu this is where it all began with the change of direction in my life when I came here for the first time in early 2008 and now it's late 2022 well, almost 14 years later than I you know, never would have could have imagined that I would be uh, back here and uh, running in through Honolulu in the early morning hours. So, yeah, going to sleep now with uh, a lot of gratitude for a good start, good first day of this weekend adventure and uh, yeah, see you again in the morning, six hours from now, and it's going to be a super early start, and so for now, going to sleep, aloha, good night everyone, and see you tomorrow. Aloha, good morning, it's 3.18, a Sunday early morning. December 11, 2022. Uh, this is the moment you just want to turn around, turn off the light and keep sleeping. But that's not what we are here for today. It's a little marathon, 50th edition. And uh, trying to wake up now. I can't imagine even walking one step at this point. But a little later, this will be much different and I'm now getting ready, uh, getting up and so ready to leave in a bit less than an hour from the hotel to go to the start. Good morning and uh, have a wonderful day. Again, uh, good morning. I'm now up for about uh, 15 minutes. And uh, listen. Waking up to the sound of the Pacific Ocean. And now let's go see how it looks like uh, behind this curtain. view of uh, Waikiki
now uh, continue with my preparation for uh, today's race. We are at the lobby of the hotel, not busy at this time, and there are lots of people in uh, orange shirts uh, getting ready as well. Christmas runners. And uh, on the, are on the way to the start now. Now getting closer and closer to the starting area. Just crossed the bridge over the Ala Wai Canal. And it's kind of a slow motion perspective how it looks like uh, when, when I'm gonna be running, when we're gonna be running soon. We are now uh, here in the starting area and then we see uh, different colors. For example, over there is uh, yellow. Uh, there was a sign, it said it's uh, zone 5. So we have like uh, different starting groups. The faster ones go more in the beginning and the slower ones are now waiting here uh, for their start. Uh, right now it's uh, 4.38, 22 minutes to go until the start and uh, we're gonna keep walking uh, towards my group. Yes, that's it. Honolulu Marathon, our 50th anniversary Honolulu Marathon this year. Excited to have you with us here. We got an exciting course of elite runners today. We're going to start the race as we usually do with our wheelchair race. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to have your attention, please. As we begin our race, as we have for 50 years, we'll begin with our blessing this morning. And this year, we welcome back Hailama Farden to bless the race. Your attention, please. The Honolulu Marathon Kanalima Makaniki, Makaino Kamaku, Keikeiki, Ameka Uhane Hemole, Amene, Amene, Amene. Aloha. Mahalo, Hailama Farden, for that blessing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to sing our national anthem and Hawaii Ponoe. Please welcome Stacy Kule. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes? And bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched where 
so gallantly streaming And the rockets recollect The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That a flag was still there Spangled banner way o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave.
Yeah, I made it. Uh, we are here uh, nearby the finish of the 10k. Six miles into the marathon. It's just incredible. These people are still gonna go for another 20 miles. I've just hardly did a quarter of the marathon distance, and it was uh, tough again. Uh, the first 3k went pretty easy. At a pretty fast pace, faster than I thought. And then what got really hard was the second third between kilometer four and six. Once I was back uh, at the Alamoana center where we started, this section seemed like uh, quite endless. And like, it was really hot. There was no wind. I felt like in an oven, and I really had to uh, slow down my pace. And uh, then at the end, the last three kilometers, all the way to Waikiki, coming to the finish with more uh, people on the side of the road, then uh, that went uh, much better again. But I had to walk a few times. I had some uh, pain in my uh, left Achilles, uh, starting from the second training back in Kauai. I hope it would be a little bit better, so I couldn't really fully push uh, out of the left feet. But I'm still happy, I made the run in uh, 51 minutes. One minute faster than the 10k in Las Vegas, but one minute slower than the 10k on Maui earlier this year. And, uh, but uh, it was a really, overall a really nice experience, especially at the start with the fireworks. And, uh, it's just a beautiful experience to, to run together with so many other people, as you can see. Sometimes uh, you have to walk, but it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, special. I think we have so many times uh, lived in one of these uh, towers behind, very nearby, uh, back 14 years ago, and uh, went for uh, many runs. Basically, right here around uh, Diamond Head behind, and uh, to be able to be back here part of this event uh, with uh, 27,000 other runners uh, was, uh, was really nice so I feel happy and content about today unfortunately not below the 50 I'm gonna do it uh, on my next 10k I'm gonna get uh, below the 50 minutes and uh, yeah I'm really happy and grateful to be here in Honolulu on uh, this day December 11 2022 and I'll go back uh, to the hotel and Relax. So now we are uh, back uh, nearby our hotel. Uh, this is uh, one of the drinking stations. Uh, we saw it earlier this morning on the way out. And these are still people on the way for the marathon. Uh, the Honolulu Marathon, this is not that you have a limited time. So there are also people who could just, uh, you can just walk it if you want, so I think Eunchong is gonna walk it next year. What about that? She's shaking her head. So, you know, but even even walking 26 miles, for anyone who has done like a two hour hike or a four hour hike, it's a long way. And now as we see, uh, the sun is coming in, so we're gonna have sunrise soon. And uh, yeah, some more impressions from here. Good morning. So we are now back at the hotel and uh, that's the view we have here. Uh, it was uh, incredible how uh, this somehow manifested. Uh, we were quite surprised yesterday after uh, dinner when we go back uh, to the hotel that all pools were already closed. So that's something if you ever want to stay at the Hilton Hawaiian Village you need to know the pools close the latest by uh, 6 p.m., which is quite unusual. And uh, so the room didn't even have a bathtub, it was just a shower. But before the race, it's uh, I really was looking forward to sit in a hot tub or at least some warm bath. So uh, we went to the reception and asked if they could do anything, and uh, we just got this. Uh, it was a really, really nice person. Brian, maybe Brian, if you ever gonna get to see this video, Mahalo Nui Loa, thank you so much, and just give thanks to whoever 
whatever arranged that we ended up uh, having this uh, fantastic place. Really, really nice uh, view. Waikiki Beach, a diamond head uh, in the background, Pacific Ocean. Uh, right below here, I think it's this uh, Fort uh, Rusi. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's just an uh, absolutely uh, incredible room. We can, we can stay here. Almost uh, oceanfront, and uh, yeah, what, what better way than to rest after. Uh, this way it's, uh, this morning right here so once again here my medal 50 is on a little marathon and uh, I uh, already checked the results I think out of uh, 170 who uh, were running in my category men 45 to 49 uh, I think I'm uh, 12 and uh, overall out of about six Six or seven thousand, I finished on uh, 165. So that's a pretty good result. Very happy and really grateful for that incredible, unexpected gift we got for being able to stay here at this beautiful place. Aloha. So now we are coming to the more relaxing part of this weekend. Uh, we are here in the Kalia building or tower uh, of this super large uh, hotel complex. Kalia adult pool. This is uh, how it looks like. Some bird. And uh, here is the pool. <coughs> Some more Waikiki. Towers. That's the tower of this building. And uh, here back the pool. And then here is the hot tub that I'm really longing to go into now to uh, relax my sore legs. It's another uh, well-known spot. This is a lagoon. Also a nice place to relax. This is a uh, public so anyone can come here and use it even if you don't stay here in this uh, hotel
Here we are now back at the Honolulu Airport for our flight back to Kauai. We have the nice uh, massage chairs. Hawaii Airlines Flight 3 for the east is now boarding in zone 4 through main cabin number 3. First class guests and school and elite members, we continue to board through the first class. Especially for my legs, but also for my back, uh, to get some uh, more relaxation. So hot up earlier, some pool, and now the chair, as we have some uh, time uh, here until our family within about an hour. And uh, yeah, just really grateful, and I uh, really feel I did a workout, and now have some relaxing opportunity here at the airport. And uh, yeah, just grateful as I mentioned earlier when we left from Hawaii it's really nice to travel um, due to Hawaii. increased security I definitely all unattended items in Hawaii bank Island will be confiscated and Island. destroyed over uh, some experience you sometimes have in the public transportation uh, back in Switzerland so uh, really nice and today airport pretty quiet right now not too many people also at security and uh, yeah, we're really nice people at security. So you will also feel the Aloha spirit even from the TSA people here. So I'm gonna keep enjoying my massage and uh, then see what's gonna happen. Aloha! If watching this video inspired you and you'd like to share the spirit of Aloha too, please share it with your friends, like it by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button, then you will get a notification when the next video of this series gets uploaded. Your heartfelt comments are welcome to Mahalo Nuiloa.